Hey guys, Kevin gives me another unboxing for you guys, and uh, this time, this is definitely going to be one of my larger, and I think longer, unboxings, because I don't just have one thing to unbox in this video. I have three things to unbox, and uh, two of them are Blu-rays, one of them is a DVD, and I'll talk about both of them, um, but I got two packages, and... Uh, What's interesting, I'll talk about why this is actually really interesting, because I expect to get two things, but I actually got three things today, and you guys will know why um, it's really interesting when I get to it. Um, but I think I'm going to start with this box first, because I believe both the Blu-rays in here, and I want to save the DVD for last. So let's just open up this one, I'll show you guys what I got, and uh, I'll tell you guys why it's really interesting why I got three things. Okay, so let's open this one up. Like I said, I did, like, pre-order all of these things in advance, but, like, I didn't expect to get the third one uh, this week at all, because I don't even think it's supposed to come out this week. I'll get into that. Um, but let's get to the one that I knew I was going to get today. That, of course, is Crimson P. Crimson P came out today, and, guys, this is the definition of, like, an underrated movie. I mean, I love this movie, and I know there were a lot of people that really disliked this movie. If you guys like this movie, I perfectly understand. I mean, the way they promoted it, they made it seem like it was going to be this gritty gore fest, and it really isn't that. It's a lot more dialogue-driven. It does become quite graphic in the third half. I mean, it becomes, and when I say graphic, I mean, like, crazy graphic, but I overall really did love this movie. I think it's a really great movie. You got really great actors in here. Um, just everything about it, the cinematography, the story in general, I just really love it. I can't wait to rewatch, and I had to get it on Blu-ray. Um, but of course, this is a Blu-ray DVD, digital HD. Um, and we get some pretty good features on here. You got the, I remember, Crimson Peak, a, um, primer on gothic romance, hand-tailored gothic, which, if you guys don't know, this is a gothic romance, and basically Guillermo del Toro is kind of giving, like, the story and, like, gothic romance, things like that, where it comes from hand-tailored gothic, a living thing, crimson phantoms, and then additional features, which are included on the DVD are deleted scenes, we were at Crimson Peak, the light and dark of Crimson Peak, and feature commentary with Guillermo del Toro. So either way, if you get the Blu-ray DVD, you get some pretty good features, honestly, you really do. I love this back cover art, let me just say, and I love this cover art as well. I've always really loved this cover. I think it perfectly represents the dark tone of this movie very, very well, and uh, let me just open this one up because I really do want to talk about this one. But like I said, guys, I really do feel this is a very underrated film um, that not a lot of people, not not that a lot of people didn't see it, but I just didn't hear really good things about it. I heard a lot of people complaining about it, saying, oh, it wasn't as good as they wanted it to be because it wasn't what they thought. And uh, let's just, now this is very weird. Let me just say, this is, uh, the way this is packaged, it's basically if you were to have like, um, you know when there's like those, um, you know, those things that like, for example, British Spies, I'll, I'll give you guys an example. Okay. So you guys know the thing on, okay, so you know how it's like this, but there's like a thing on the side here, like for safety, things like that, but like for like uh, protection, and then it says open. This is basically like that, but there's no thing on the side. That's very strange. I've never really seen a Blu-ray open up like this before, but that's really interesting. Um, I don't know if that's a new thing that Sony's going to be doing. Now, of course, I'm not going to show you guys digital copy. I, I'm obviously going to use it. And then you got the Own the Chilling Favorites on Blu-ray High Def. You got the Chucky Collection, Tremors. Army of Darkness, Dawn of the Dead, Shaun of the Dead, Van Hilsing, all kinds of great movies. Um, but then you have the DVD, which this is a standard universal release, so it's obviously yellow. And then the Blu-ray's blue. Nothing special, but very strange, honestly, guys. And I know it's like, oh, I've, they're definitely packaged like this before, but I've honestly never seen some a mainstream release. I've seen, like, Mill Creek and things like that do this, but... I've never really seen a mainstream uh, release like this because this is this is very interesting, and I hope it doesn't become a trend. It, it's it's cool to have it. I mean, it definitely is cool, but I just I don't really like it. I'll say that it's not really my style. But um, that's what I knew was gonna come today. The one that I didn't think was coming today, and I don't really understand why it came today. Honestly, I'm like, how did this come today? I I don't really understand this because this one that came today is not supposed to come out till next Tuesday. I'm not kidding. It's supposed to come out next Tuesday. That's Black Mass. Black Mass, for whatever reason, I own it. And uh, that's very strange that I own it. Yes, I pre-ordered it when it was, you know, going to be a pre-order. But um, 
it came out, and I don't know why. I don't know why I'm holding this right now. I really don't, guys. I think it's very interesting that I got this a week before it came out. I mean, that's I've never really had something like that before. You guys know straight out of Compton. I got it a day before it came out, and this I got a week before it came out. So, very interesting, definitely. Um, I gotta say, though, I really love this cover. I honestly, I think this is a fantastic cover. It perfectly represents the movie. I mean, if you haven't seen Black Mass, it's a very good movie. Don't watch the trailers. I will definitely say that. Don't watch the trailers it makes the movie look completely different than it is and you guys know of course I do have the black mask poster in the background um but as well as I really did enjoy this movie I think it was it did disappoint me a bit if you guys noticed the reason I wasn't as hyped over it or talked about it as much after is because it just it wasn't as great as I think it could have been there definitely are some underused characters but there but the things in this movie that are great are really great and I highly encourage you guys to check it out um there's some features on here. Basically, it's about, like, um, uh, investigating Whitey Bulger and then how Johnny Depp became Whitey Bulger, which I'm actually really interested in that because this is probably one of Johnny Depp's roles where I'm just, I don't see him at all. It's awesome. I see Whitey Bulger. And then Black Mass Deeper Cover, Darkest Crime. And, uh, I love the back of this as well, but... Uh, also, the smoothness of this, the texture, I really do like, definitely. But let's just open this one up. So, yeah, guys, like I said, I, I did not think this was going to come out now. I don't know why it came out, um, because the main reason, and I'll talk about why I think this is interesting, that it came out now. Um, but, uh, basically, standard stuff, you got your digital copy code, nothing really, uh, special there. But then you got your DVD, which I really do like this artwork on the DVD, like the bullets. That I think that's really cool. Um, but you got the DVD and the Blu-ray, which are exactly the same, which is very confusing, let me just say, because it's hard to, like, is this the DVD or is this the Blu-ray? You gotta, like, scrunch up to it and be like, okay, this is the Blu-ray, this is the DVD. I mean, yeah, it's kind of obvious, but, like, it's kind of hard as well. The main reason I'm surprised this came out when it did is because I have another pre-order for next week, and it didn't come out today, so... I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. I don't know why this is out, but I own Black Mass. It's cool, and I'm looking forward to watching it again. So, Black Mass. Okay. So, those are the two Blu-rays that I got. Now, I will show you guys the DVD, which by far is the thing I am most looking forward to unboxing. I mean, probably out of a lot of stuff I've unboxed in a while. This is one of my most anticipated unboxings ever. Um, definitely. And I will show you guys what it is. You guys will know why I'm freaking out about it. Um, but let me just, without further ado, let's unbox this because I am so happy to talk to you guys about... Um, the DVD that I have because obviously I really do want to talk about it and that is of course The Leftovers Season 2 Oh my god, guys. I, I could go on and on. I, I really could. I'm not going to, though, because you guys already know how much I love this season. You guys already know that I think this is personally the greatest season of TV I've ever watched. And you guys know how into the story, how into the characters I got. Main reason, though, guys, is because I rewatched season one. It's really not as great when you watch season two. I mean, season one is a good show, but it's not the quality of season two. Season two is just so great. I am so happy that this came out when it did, and... They just got picked up for a third season. Thank God they did because the show went from, I think, a pretty, av not average, that's not the word I want to use because it's definitely not average, but um, it is, you know, was there are other shows, there were other shows on TV like it, I definitely will say that, but let's just unbox this because I, I really want to talk about this, guys. You guys know how much I love The Leftovers, uh, so let's just unbox this one because, like I said, I really want to talk about it. Um, I've seen no unboxing for this, obviously, which is really cool. And I, I could go over how much I love the cover art, but I'm not going to. I've seen I've seen the cover a million times. I'm not going to talk about how much I love it. You guys probably know how much I love it. Um, okay, so take this off. You got the DVD here. Open this up. You do get a real... I am very happy that they gave us another episode, guy, because they gave them for season one. So give us one for season two. Um, open this up. You got... Really, I not a lot of DVDs do this nowadays, so I'm happy they did this. They have descriptions of every episode, what every episode's about, a brief plop synopsis, and I really do like that. And then you got the cast on the back, which is awesome. And then the disc art, I think, is really cool. I honestly, oh, this is actually a really cool disc art, guys. I definitely want to talk about the disc art. 
You got disc one, which has Kevin. You have disc two, which has Nora reaching out for him. And then you have disc three, which is the hand that brings them together, which I think is great. It just, it shows how deep the show really is. The only downside, guys, surprisingly, is that this has absolutely no bonus features whatsoever. And that really sucks because season one had a ton of them. And this has none. I mean, I would have at least wanted, like, in a, you know, just a behind-the-scenes look at them changing the show or them talking about the changes that need to be made. And I understand that season one comes with, like, a look into season two, but that doesn't make up for the fact that this has absolutely no features whatsoever. I mean, it's kind of stupid. I had to pay... $28, which I would have paid $100 for this. I don't care. I honestly don't care how much this is. I knew that the second this came out, I was going to get it. I don't care how much it is. That's not my issue. It's just, I want some features. I really do. This is my favorite show on TV right now. I love watching it, and I want to see how they made it. I want to see um, Tom Parada and... Uh, you know, um, what's his name? Tom Parada and Damien Lindelof, Damien Lindelof, come on and talk about it. I really want to see them come on and talk about how, you know, because they're very interesting to listen to, the way they thought of the show. I just want to see more of that, and uh, unfortunately, we don't get to, because as I said, there's no features. But I am still very happy to own this, obviously. Yes, I can watch it on HBO Go. I don't care, guys. I am so happy to have this on DVD. I'm going to watch it, obviously, again. And this is definitely a show where I'm going to go back probably thousands of times and just rewatch episodes. I've already watched the first episode a bunch of times because of the twist in episode 9. I'm not going to spoil it if you guys haven't seen my reviews, but yeah, Leftover Season 2. I've gone on enough. Let's just... Again, guys, one last time, things I got were Crimson Peak, um... Black Mass, which again, I don't know how I got this, I just did, and The Leftovers Season 2, one of my best pickups, honestly, I think this is probably one of the best pickups I've done, I'm very happy that I got all this stuff um, when I did, please check out all of the things I talked about, even if like Black Mass doesn't interest you, I'd still say check it out, it's a very good movie, I think it's it's not as great as it could have been, but it still is a very good movie, it is the weakest of the out of the three things I got, but without a doubt, Leftover Season 2, that's the thing I recommend the most. This thing, this is the thing that I recommend. Out of anything, you gotta pick up Leftover Season 2. But over, guys, let me know what you guys saw this unboxing. Love to hear your thoughts on it. Always love to hear what you guys think of these things that I got. Um, did you get these things today? Love to hear things like that. You know, like I said, always love to expand the conversation, you guys. And I will see you guys in my next video. Um, and like I said, there is gonna be another unboxing coming next week, which should have been with Black Mass. I just don't understand why Black Mass is here. It doesn't really make sense to me. But I will see you guys next week, which will be for my review of Supergirl, and I will see you guys for that. Okay, bye.